Here we go. It's the Pompey Pod at the Euros with Mike and Dan. Hello, Dan. Good evening. Hello. You all right? Very good. Thank you. Yourself? Terrific. Thanks. Good, good, good. Excellent. This is where we're going to talk about England in a very short while. Before we do, if you would like to win a brand new Pompey shirt, which was released this week, you can do so via the Pompey Pod. You have two chances to win. Firstly, follow us on Facebook. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, we will randomly select one follower to win a Pompey shirt. Save yourself £55. We're currently at 871, so we only have 129 to go. Get a following, <laughs> please, on Facebook. And also subscribe to us on YouTube. When we get to 500 subscribers, we will randomly select one subscriber to win. We're currently at 372, so 128 to go. Oh, so close. It's very, very close, isn't it? So uh, yeah, get liking, get, uh, don't get liking, get following, get subscribing. And then you could be in a chance to win that Pompey shirt. And we want to give that away before the season starts. So do so, please. What do you think of a new Pompey shirt, Dan? Do you like? I think it's very nice, yeah. I'm not offended by the stripes. No, me neither. They're it's only, stri- they're stripes, stripes they're 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 more lines than stripes, are they not? I, I, I think that they're, they're slighter. Yeah. Would be like your scummers, big, thick, red and black. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just lines on a blue background, aren't they? And, and somebody mentioned about, you know, when have we ever had stripes before? And I, and I, I, I instantly I thought about the Fiat, uh, South Africa's Fiat. But then people pointed out quite, quite often we had stripes. We had the, you know, the Mark Haitley, what I call the Mark Haitley shirt, the Le yeah. Coq Sportif. Yeah. We had it with the Goodman's kit, didn't we? And uh, with the red and black stripes. And um, South Fiat or whatever it was. That was South Coast Fiat, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I, so yeah, I, I think you've got about five or six kits with yeah. with stripes. So well, this season's got very thin sort of wiggly lines, hasn't it? A bit yeah. of a I think this is probably the best best night kit so far, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think it's nice. I don't think the previous night kits have been that great, but I think this is all right. I think it's right. Anyway, let's talk about England. We're in the semi-finals once again, Dan. That's that's three out of the last four tournaments we've been in the semi-finals. We're in no. the semi-finals once again, and still yeah. we're not bloody happy, are we? No, no. It's quite bad. Just feels because it's just another awful game, wasn't it? It's better though, isn't it? It yeah, was better. Yeah. But that's what I was thinking about this whole better thing. Like the first half year was better, but when you look back at it, there's still barely any chances created. Not even no, like one. one. What, 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 what brilliant chances did we have in the first half? <laughs> there were many, wasn't there? There were oh, many. Oh, there there was many. Was I think Saka's shot, Saka's shot was, I think it was the first shot in Tari, wasn't it? Exactly. 80th, exactly. 80th I mean, minute. So, yeah, it was better, but still, I don't know, it's still, I'm still, I'm, I'm leaning towards this, the, the cane out at the minute as well. And I'm right, someone you, else. You're in there? Yeah. Me? You, Go on, explain, yeah. explain your rationale for that then. I always thought he's a, just a fairly lazy player anyway. But um, mm-hmm. all the while he was scoring goals, which, he, oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, he's still scoring goals now, isn't he? Scored two, hasn't he? But I don't know. It's just the lack of movement, the lack of energy, the fact he just looks knackered. Like, literally, when players are five yards away from him, he won't run. I'm not going to go and try and tackle. It's too far away. So yeah, I don't yes, know. Uh, I just... People are, people compare it a little bit with the Ronaldo situation with Portugal, don't they? He's almost like yeah. Rocky Wall. Yeah, his yeah. history. But no, I'm not. I'm not completely convinced. I think it's partly down to lack of creating chances. I, I think if you kept him in the box and created chances for him, it would got a better better chance. And it, we haven't been great mm-hmm. anything, have we? Yeah. Really. Although, one thing you mentioned on the last point was about getting the ball in the freaking box. Yeah. And I think 20 minutes in, we'd already had like four crosses, haven't we? Yeah. Which was yeah. nice. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. But... yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean. If that's if that's better, but you know, we're still we're still much better than that. We how how far <clears throat> how far can you go on not playing very well? I don't know. And I think the Netherlands game is going to be a big a big ask. And I feel quite easily you wouldn't be surprised if you could fast forward to, to uh, Wednesday night and suddenly say to you, "Oh, just to let you know, Holland won four 0 You think? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, you could yeah. see it. You you wouldn't be um you wouldn't be surprised at that. I don't think. Yeah, I I think I think we play better against good teams, but or better teams, should I say? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that why like Turkey obviously took 
took uh, the Netherlands to, you know, obviously they took the lead. They could have got a late equal as well. But I think the difference being is Turkey were really dynamic, weren't they? They were, yes. they were pressing all over the place. Yeah. Maybe not necessarily the quality that England have, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's tricky, isn't it? It's true. But yeah, I think it's a step for, it's a, certainly a step forward. It's definitely, I was going to say, it's the, the best opposition we've beaten so far, but actually we drew them and beat them on penalties so far. Yeah. And they still rip on the team most likely to score an extra sign. I think it's just things like that that's just concerning me. Yeah. We yeah. should be nearly almost winning it in the end, not, not Switzerland. A couple of things I want to ask you. So firstly, formation, you obviously we changed to a three, whatever you want to call it, a three, four, one, two, uh, sorry, three, three, yeah, three, four, two, one. Uh, I guess it was kind of, did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was better. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was definitely better. I think, uh, I was thinking about the next game, whether he'll go with that again or, because Gay's back, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought Comps did well, actually. I thought he could go right, didn't he? Oh, yeah. So he'll probably go with, he'll bring him back in, won't he? But I don't know. I think if Shaw's fit as well, I would start mm. just because I just think he's, a, he, well, he's, he's just stronger at left back. He makes our defence better because he's a strong. Yeah, and it's more balanced, isn't it? Yeah, it is more balanced, yeah. So have hit have Walker on the one side, Shaw on the other. Stones yeah. and Gay. Stones and Gay. But that's if he plays, goes back to early. Four. What do you think yeah. he's doing? Stick with the... All right. All right. I think, I think he should stick with that formation, but who knows? Mm. Who knows? Uh, I think... I suppose you could also say, because there, there's at times when we were out of possession where it did look more like a, a, a kind of 4-5-1. I thought, because cause Walker just kind of shuffled across in the end, Trippier just kind of sat back in. I'd like to see Walker out of the team, if you wanted to. I don't think he's really done this in the whole tournament. And I feel like Fred was all right when he came on. A big fan of Walker, to be honest. I think there's always a mistake in him. I just think he, he's a bit too strutty, isn't he? He tries to be he tries to get too cool for school and then just does a bad pass or makes a silly mistake. But, yeah. yeah. I was going to be the Dutch, the Dutch, the Dutch are far aren't they? So you'll say in purely for yeah. that reason. Oh yeah. I think he would start anyway. Yeah. What say you to putting Palmer and Saka on each wing and either Ooh, okay. taking Bogan out or trying to put him in the middle somewhere? What, what say I to it? It's difficult now because I think, I think Maynou's come in and actually I, I'd say Maynou is one of my first names would, would start now because I think he looks very assured in that that role there i think he's him and rice are, are definite starters now but obviously bellingham is 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 almost 21 or already undroppable isn't he so i don't know i I think palmer will still start from the bench i like him when he comes on i think he does uh, he's really dynamic isn't he and gets at you but i think that he, he's almost taking up the the greenish role isn't he yeah. whereby yeah. he's not risked from the start because he's a flair player you don't, mm -hmm. don't want to risk having your flair players. And there you've got two of them in Foden and Bellingham. And actually, I thought with Foden and Bellingham both wandering around, I thought I like that better. It kind of, without really creating much, it looked mm -hmm. a lot better. And obviously, Saka played much, much better than the other one. Yeah. All so, those players you just named, you, we just should be creating so much more, shouldn't we? Foden, Saka, Palmer, Bellingham. Well, we should be playing like Spain, shouldn't we? Yeah. With, with players, we should be playing like Spain. Is that, that was the next thing I was going to come on to. Is it just we just have to accept that while Southgate's in charge, this is the way we're going to play? Mm. The players seem to be happy with it. They all look very supportive of him, aren't they? They're all very positive about him to the point where I think, I can't remember whether it was um, Foden or whether it was um, Luke Shaw actually said, we love him. And it's like, wow, okay. And you've got to say, you know, prior to the last four tournaments in my lifetime, we'd only been to two semi finals. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've been to three yeah. out of four. In a bit complacent now, aren't we? Five head was not good enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. It'd be nice to have a style of play, but, you know, would you take yeah. winning ugly? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Away. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, he said yeah. it. I didn't take away with it, but, yeah, it would be nice to play a bit of football. Look interesting just in, in one game. It, and I think the, the expectation is, is you look at the players and you think this is a quality side. And I think like for like, not mm. many Spain players would be getting in the England stuff. Oh, nice. You're looking at it one to one. Yeah. Maybe the goalkeeper, but other than that, I can't think of any that really would be, you know, maybe, maybe actually Carvajal, although obviously he's going to be missing in the next game, isn't he? But yeah, 
other than that, I think it's, it's not far. Off. Okay, so here's the question. So are we? Are we? We actually we're coming to where we're going to beat the Dutch. But if let's say we go all the way and we win it, do we then keep Southgate? Is there a call then to keep him in, or is that just the the, the best way for him to go? Go out and along. Yeah, I think it would be a good time for him to go. I think he's done a lot of good work. Unless we suddenly start, unless in the next two games it all clicks into place and we suddenly play two amazing games. Like Brazil yeah. in 1970. Then yeah, so let's rate him over the next two games as well, but the last 100 or whatever it is. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking back to 96, because obviously, again, we, we spoke about this last week, but yeah, the group stage weren't great in 96. We then played the Dutch in probably the quarterfinals. Yeah, it was a quarterfinals. And obviously, we actually smashed them. And they, they were a fairly decent Dutch side, weren't they? They weren't obviously the 80s, early 90s Dutch team. I think it was the last game of the... No, I think it was, it was the, last the last group game, wasn't it? It was the last group game. You're right. You're right. Absolutely right. We had yeah. aim, of course, didn't we, I think? Yes, you're right. And we're kind Yes. But anyway, we obviously absolutely smashed them. After yeah. the lackluster opening cut of games that we beat Scotland yeah. and through with Switzerland. And we could have, in that Scotland game, obviously Scotland had a penalty, didn't they, just before we so scored. Alistair so, Lowe. Yes. I don't know. So I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of thinking maybe this is the time where we, we, we do go into gear. Because again, if you, I don't know if you remember, but going into that tournament, Shearer hadn't scored for some like six or seven yeah. months and suddenly Kane good at the tournament. So maybe this is the time for Kane. Maybe. Yeah. And suddenly that second Absolutely. half was just one of the best England performances I've ever seen. So, yeah, yeah. What about the pens? Uh, no, not now. I think we've got enough. But I have already predicted what's going to happen. Exactly. Oh, team. And this, this covers the whole the whole game. Okay. So we, it's going to go to penalties, and yeah, then okay. Tony is going to do, do his no look penalty, no look at the ball. He's going to, and then he's going to be okay. made the. And get loads of abuse over social media. That's it. That's exactly what the racists will be back, Jimmy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Can I? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. I'm mental. How do you, how do you. Yeah. Oh, man. No way. No way could I be. Really he approached the ball and didn't even look at the ball. I, I thought, oh, he's just going to, he's going to get bluffed around me. There's quality, absolute quality to it. Uh, you practically walked to the pen. Yeah. Well, they all were, weren't they? All good pens. All very good pens. All very, very good pens. All right. Okay. So whilst we're on the subject of predicting, last week we predicted Spain against Germany, Portugal against France, Netherlands against Turkey. This is where we went. So you said 2-2 Spain, Germany. Yeah, I said 2-1 no. Germany. You said 2-2, no. two, two, yeah. And then and said, Spain, after, thought, Spain after extra time. I know, but I thought I said 1-1. One, one. Yeah, okay. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said game uh, of the tournament. Yeah. Game of the tournament. It was an okay game, wasn't it? Wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah, it was obviously two one. So you actually yeah. get a point for that, Dan. I get no point. Come on, Portugal, France. I went one nil France. You went two one France. It was nil nil. Neither get a point for that. Man, well, I'm it's afraid it was a terrible game. Mm. Uh, that's one thing that gives me a little bit of hope is that France are equally as bad. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Mbappe clearly is off off with his mm. you know nose issues, isn't he? Final one was. So Netherlands, Turkey, I terribly predicted a Turkey win. And when they went 1-0 up, I thought, you know, here we go. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's but, um, You said 2-0 to Netherlands, so that's another point. You, you've got an 8-6 lead going into the final week, Dan. Come on. 8-6 lead. Now, the final games are, we're going to predict England. England games. It's the last three games, so we have to include England now. Spain, France, England, Netherlands, and then, obviously... It would be semi final one and semi final two. So, depending on it's irrelevant, you know, but based on who you think will get through. So, go on. First of all, Spain against France. What are you calling that? How are you calling that? I think on something else, where I did a prediction thing, I said Spain to win 2 0, but I'm going to go for 1 0 Spain. They'll still win. 1 0. Okay. See, I can't go the same because if I want to win, I've got to go against what you're saying. So I'm going to say this is where France start to play and Spain have an off day because they've got two or three key players out, haven't they? With the centre max suspended, Carver House suspended, and that Petri, Petri, is it Petri or Pedri? Is he's out injured. He's a titchy, isn't this? As soon as I said Petri, I thought, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go 2 1 France. 
Two on yeah. France. Okay. England, Netherlands. England, Netherlands. Oh, one on one. Oh, let's just go one on all. One on all. Okay, one on all. I've gone one all as well. So whoever you go for in extra time, I'll go for the other team. I'm going to go pens. Can I go all the way to pens? Okay, yeah, pens and Netherlands because uh, you're already predicting Tony's going to miss. Is in England? Yeah, no. Pens yeah. England. Okay, yeah. I'll go pens and Netherlands then. Okay, just to be different. So therefore, your final would be Spain against Netherlands. No, yours is for Spain against England, sorry. Spain, yeah. School. And mine will be France against Teflon. Alice. Okay. There you go. So, so, come uh, on. so who would be, who would be the winner if you go Spain, England? Spain. Spain. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go France. So there, there you go. That's going to decide it. You'll win 8-6. That's going to decide the final fixtures. It is exciting. It is exciting. I think we're going to win on Wednesday. I genuinely do. Um, you can. Uh, you I don't know why. Game though, don't you? Can't be as bad as last game. It's going to be much better this game. I don't think it will. I think you'll be equally as nervy. I don't know. How did you feel when they went 1-1? Did you feel at 6? It was like 70 second minute or something, wasn't it? And I thought we haven't got a massive amount of time. Yeah. But... I uh, yeah. No, I just think we're always, we're always jammy enough to, to get a goal, aren't we? But yeah, I did think, I did think we were out. When they score. Yeah. yeah. But then, yeah. But then you'd always have I, one chance, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought we'd have one chance. It's just about whether or not we take it. And uh, yeah, it's a good goal. Good goal. Okay, so. England in the semi-finals. We will be back next week with, by then, I think it would be European champions or they'd have been home for a few days. Or the final. Yes, it's the other option. They do one of three things will happen. <laughs> we will see. But this has been the Poppy Bob. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube because you could win the brand new Pompey Pompey kits that came out this week. We'll be back again next week. And now then, goodbye. Bye. Bye.